All right, Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode of Welcome to the Channel. If you're a first time viewer, my name is Rich and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And uh, man, it is a scorcher today down in Florida. Or actually, it's been a scorcher like the last like week or two or since I got back from my uh, trip up north. And I'm not really sure if I'm ready for a Florida summer, but I'm going to try my best to survive it. And I'm sure I'm going to do another trip up north. And uh, while I'm down here, I also want to do another uh, Florida Keys fishing mission. But uh, that's probably after I get back from Brazil, which I leave for tomorrow. And I'm you know, a little scared because I haven't been on a flight in a while and it's an international flight, but I'm more actually like ex excited than scared. But uh, anyway, I got something really cool to show you and I'm really excited about it because it's going to uh, play a crucial role in a lot more of my fishing adventures so I can stay out longer and film and film and film so I can bring the content back and edit it and, and post the videos for you guys. So huge shout out to Anchor for sponsoring today's video and sending me out the 757 powerhouse station. So uh, check out what I got going on in the car right here. I want to kind of go through a scenario of how I like live out of my car, what I'm going on, say like week long, like fishing missions. And as you can see here, I got my pillow and my like little mattress set up and a uh, little tip if you're looking to do something like this. This is uh, a three inch foam pad from Walmart and I basically just stacked it on top of it or folded it and uh, now it's six inches, so it's super comfy. But on the other side there is the powerhouse, so let's hop in and uh, I'm gonna give you a closer look and uh, show you the devices that uh, I would charge with uh, the powerhouse. All right, super comfy. Now, uh, here's a bunch of devices that uh, I usually always bring um, on my different fishing missions. Uh, the only thing that's not here is my laptop because that's currently um, edit or um, exporting uh, a video that you guys have probably maybe have already seen. So I've just got a lot of my other devices that I always have to keep charged while I'm on the road and, and fishing and camping and, and stuff like that. And this one right here is a big one. This is the, you know, my kayak fish finder battery. And uh, there's six AC outlets on uh, the 757. So boom, now she's charging. So that takes care of that. Then I also have three drone batteries that uh, always have to be charged after usually every fishing outing. So plug that right into the AC outlet and that same charging unit also charges the controller. And uh, then this here is uh, my new GoPro battery charger, which I use, you know, for if I'm in the kayak, I, it keeps my GoPro batteries charged so I can continuously film. This is just USB, so that'll plug right into one of the four USB outlets. There's also two USB-C outlets. And uh, then finally, this, you know, here is my little triple GoPro battery charger. So that's how I keep uh, a lot of my batteries charged while out on the water. So I've got all that charging, but uh, the one thing that I'm extremely happy about with this device is that I can run, now run my Ryobi portable fan. And I think that's gonna be essential being that we're in Florida and you know, or it's just summer, so no matter where I go, it's gonna be hot. And uh, you know, I'm even considering now that I have this possibly getting like a portable, like AC unit for the truck or like a portable little uh, cooler or you know, if you're a normal person, you know, and you're RVing, you can get like a mini fridge or it also uh, will power a microwave or a coffee maker, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm usually gonna always be charging the non-typical stuff, but it works for me. It might work for you in different ways, but yeah, let's turn this fan on. Ah, oh, <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> it's really hot in here right now, but uh, yeah, I'm super stoked about this. Now the batteries that are inside the Anchor Powerhouse uh, 757 are some of the most advanced, long-lasting premier lithium ion phosphate batteries. And the battery should stay in a healthy state even after 3,000 charging cycles. And there's also a five-year guarantee on that. It's for peace of mind. And when you get the device in the mail, uh, it usually is at 0%. And uh, I charged it as soon as I got it, and it only took one hour to charge to 80%, which blew my mind. It was, it was so cool how fast it charged. And it has 1,500 watts of output and 1,229 watt hours 
of capacity, which uh, is pretty good for a unit this size. Anyway, now let's hop out of the car because it is way too hot in here. Whew. All right, Whew. yeah, a portable AC unit will definitely be killer uh, on my next camping trip now with the 757. But uh, anyway, if you're thinking the uh, powerhouse is a little bit too much power for what you need, then you can also decide between the 521 or the 535, which uh, have the same lithium ion phosphate batteries as the 757. And uh, I took both of these up north with me on that trip and uh, they played a crucial role with keeping all the camera batteries charged, the drone in the air, and the fish finder battery charged, and also my cell phone, my laptop going. So I'm very thankful to have these. And uh, now even more with uh, the 757. And uh, also now that uh, like kind of hurricane season is upon us, uh, you know, the worst part of it is coming in the fall, you know, at the, closer to the end of the summer, uh, I was thinking that these would also be, you know, something crucial to have just at the house, you know, even if you're not going camping, because uh, it'll be nice to at least have something to keep your devices charged all day long or if you have the you know 757 for you know up to five days or so so um yeah anyway if you guys want to check out the uh anchor powerhouses or power stations i'll put the link down in the description huge shout out to uh, anchor again for uh, hooking me up with uh these gadgets and uh now i'm going to switch it over to the fishy part of the video and i went out and explored a new area like two or three days ago and uh, i caught some fish so here it is, let's check it out. All right, I made it to the water here uh, on the Indian River in an area that uh, I've never fished before. So uh, I'm really intrigued to uh, see if we can explore around and after a few hours, uh, possibly get on a bite. It's uh, a little after 7.30 in the morning. And I was hoping to get out here much earlier, but uh, I just uh, I kept forgetting things when I was backing up the truck, so I, I had to go back like two or three times. And uh, I'm starting off just by tossing around this little Yozuri top knock, which uh, I think will imitate an injured, you know, finger mullet or a little greeny perfectly, and maybe we'll uh, get some nice topwater strikes uh, from some snook or jacks, uh, you know, while it's still early so i'll toss this around for like 20 30 minutes and if we don't get any bites then we'll uh maybe catch some bait or uh throw some subsurface uh, artificials so we've got uh, a couple hours left of uh, incoming tide right now i oh, just gotta blow up there he is fish on oh i lost them Yeah, <laughs> well, that was sweet. Uh, we got hit so quick, but we lost them. And uh, yeah, we've got a little bit left of incoming tide, and then uh, we got the you know mo most of the morning and early afternoon of uh, outgoing. Looks like there's a bunch of greenies up ahead here or you know some type of small bait because I can see it uh, quivering below the surface. Oh we got some nice current ripping right around this mangrove point and uh, that's probably why that first fish that hit was sitting here and there's a bunch of bait so we got a lot of good things going on right now. Oh yeah, there's a ton of greenies here right now. Oh man, yeah. We've got some good stuff going on right now. I see a snook over here to the left cruising towards the mangroves. Oh, perfect cast, perfect cast, perfect cast, perfect cast, perfect cast, come on, eat it, eat it. No, he swam by. There's so much bait here, it's gonna be tricky to probably get a bunch of bites. There's another snook that just cruised out from the mangroves. Oh, that one's bigger, dude. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of fish here. 
Oh, another perfect leading cast. We might have to catch some greenies. Look at all that bait sprinkling right there. There's two snook right there where my plug is. And a barracuda just cruised in. Oh yeah, the barracuda is following the plug. I might have to try and catch some bait. Oh, you know what? Dang. I forgot my uh, tubing for the bubbler. I, I threw my bubbler in the bow and I thought that the, the tubing with that has the, uh, the stone was in the bucket. Oh, it's kind of a bummer. But uh, I do have my, my little bucket like for dumping water in there. So if we get some bait, I could, you know, just continuously drop water in there to try and keep the fish alive. A lot of birds here. Oh my gosh, there was a good bite. Dang, we're getting whacked like crazy with this, but just not connecting. I might just stick with this little Yuzuri for the next like 20, 30 minutes. There's a really nice seawall right over there that probably has a bunch of current flowing right by it. Let's uh, head over there and take some casts. Oh, I've got some really nice current flowing right by here. And much deeper water, it drops off to uh, like 10, 11 feet right uh, here. So it's a pretty steep drop and channel right along this wall. So a bunch of greenies right there too. It's a little bit shallower right in this little like indent along the wall. Money cast right there. Come on, fish, come on. Come on. Oh, it looks so good with the current ripping around it. Like there's definitely fish here but I don't know if we can get them on the top water I'm sure if I had some fresh bait and dropped it along here we'd get whacked right away so I'm gonna fish this maybe for like another 15 minutes 10 minutes like I got some good stuff up ahead and some more mangroves uh, it's hard to make a decision but I gotta be strong and uh, I think maybe go back to that island and get some greenies. All right, let's go back to the island. All right, that should be good enough for at least a few. Oh yeah. really tiny greenies when they're this small they're kind of a pain because they get caught in the net and then you gotta grab them by the head and just pull them through all right so now that we got some bait so I'm just gonna cut this off and uh, put on a little circle hook like that well actually I might have even a smaller one because these baits are really really tiny yeah that's even better All right, 
look at that little morsel. Oh, big snook right there. Wow, that's the one we want to catch today. Oh, just got eight. There's a fish. Uh, <laughs> it's a catfish. something else oh a little barracuda Whew. this little guy's ripping whoa must have a good hook set on him and that's why he hasn't cut us off yet We're not getting skunked today, that's for sure. Now that's the spot. It's gotta be a hungry snook sitting right in there. I mean, I'm you know, I, I haven't seen one in like five minutes or so, but uh, you know, that's this is right where they were cruising back and forth earlier. Oh, something just came out from the mangroves and ate the bait. There's a fish. What do we got here? Oh my gosh, another catfish. That's a fat one. All right, well, uh, it's been about 30 minutes since uh, that last catfish and uh, because of the outgoing tide, starting to uh, flow. I moved uh, to the other side of the island because this current's hitting it directly here. And uh, wow, <laughs> we just got hit right there next to the kayak. Something stripped our bait off the hook. Right here along these rocks looks super fishy. There's one. Woo! Oh, we almost jumped in the boat. Sweet. I found ourselves a snook. There we go. In the net. Alright, not a big one, but hey. It's a snook. Maybe we can keep at it and find some bigger ones. Oh, I see some fish cruising right here. Got eight right there next to the kayak. <laughs> uh, another little guy. Another little guy, but still cool that we're at least catching fish. Circle hook's doing its job. Oh man, this one's a little bit bigger. Not much bigger, but he just knows how to pull, dude. Oh my gosh. 
I'm a mess right now. <laughs> Get in the net. There. Sweet. This mangrove bush kind of got in the way a little bit, but at least we got the fish. Sweet. Getting on a cool bite today. First time ever fishing here too. I love it. Just, you know, even if I'm not catching big fish, I'm learning so much just by catching these little ones. Should be perfect. Let's put on a bait. There's one. Another little guy. Sweet. One more to the board. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Oh, they're chewing now. That's a little bit better one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo yeah. This guy's pulling good. Woo! Some super fun light tackle stuff. They are really turning on now too. Because we're getting to the end of uh, the outgoing actually right now. So they got to eat while they're in this spot or then they probably got to migrate to the other side of the island where we found the fish earlier um, on the end of the incoming. There's a healthy one. Sweet. All right, let's see if we can get another one like that last one, or maybe if we're even luckier, we can get one even bigger. Oh, just got eight. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hmm. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> if you guys gotta look at that one, uh, comment down below what it was. Oh, just got eight. That was quick. Woo! <laughs> oh, this little guy's got some shoulders. Oh, it's such a fun bite right now. I wanted to explore around a lot more today, but after uh, coming to this island first and just, you know, luckily finding a ton of fish here, I didn't want to leave fish to go find fish. I just wanted to try and figure these ones out there he goes all right fishaholics well uh we untied from that piling 
and fished for probably another like 30 minutes in that spot but just caught more catfish and uh now we're gonna start uh heading back to the launch <laughs> but uh this tide is so low right now to uh, get from that island to uh the channel uh have to get out of the kayak uh, and just walk it i mean i could paddle but uh this is a lot quicker probably and uh yeah all in all a uh, pretty decent day uh i was hoping to explore around a little bit more but uh it just so happens where we first uh, decided to fish, we uh, found fish and I didn't want to leave fish to go find more fish. Uh, also being that there was so much bait there, I, I was like, this is like a magnet for any more fish that are, you know, are gonna come to this area. So uh, I figured we would just stick it out and uh, dial in and uh, I learned so much about this spot that I fished today. And uh, I probably only saw like five or six uh, like bigger size snook, like 28 plus inches. And uh, I think if we come back on another day and uh, have like a similar scenario and uh, also don't forget my little tubing for the bubbler because uh, that was <laughs> made it a struggle to uh, keep our baits alive today. But I'm actually surprised how tough the, the little greenies are. Um, you know, I, I kept them alive just by continuously stirring my hand in the bucket and, uh, you know, flushing the water with uh, my little, uh, like, dip bucket and, you know, taking out the old water, putting in new water, and uh, it worked. So, can't complain there. And uh, we got on a bite. So, now I think the water is just about deep enough that we can hop back in the kayak and head on out of here and uh, we've also got some stormy weather there on the way I just saw some lightning and heard some thunder so it's another reason why I kind of want to head on out of here and uh, the tide is over we've got slack water so it, this tide is all the way out but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and uh, you know stay tuned uh, till the next one so just hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and uh, smash that like button. It really makes my day uh, seeing it, uh, that this video um, got a lot of likes and a bunch of you guys uh, enjoyed it. And I'll put all my tackle and equipment down in the description below. And uh, until the next video, live to fish, fish to live.